At 23 years old, this young man is a graduate of the University of Technology with a bachelor's degree in engineering, an animator and a music producer with dreams of becoming a filmmaker. My guest on Road to Success this morning is Stephen Williamson. Welcome, Stephen. Oh, thank you. Now, Stephen, tell me, when did you know you wanted to become a filmmaker? You know, when is it that you decided this is what you wanted to do? Well, after watching the movie Pursuit of Happiness, Really? I was emotionally moved. Mm -hmm. And especially at the part where they had to sleep in the bathroom, Will Smith and his yes. son. It, it moved me so much that I realized how strong of a medium film was. Mm -hmm. And me being a person who likes to motivate others, I was saying, well, this is the perfect thing for me to do, the perfect medium to use to motivate others. Mm -hmm. So I chose from then to do film, you know. Yeah, oh, fantastic. So what initiatives have you taken towards achieving this goal? Well, I've shot a couple of music videos, mm -hmm. um, four short films, and two animated. So, and I've seen a lot of progress from when I started yeah. until now, so I guess... It's your working. first, fe your debut film would have been um, Dream On. Yeah, that's Dream and On. And I actually got some recognition in terms of... Um, being somehow incorporated into a collaboration. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Dream On was a pretty interesting film because at the time I had resigned from my job and I was going through a lot of emotional turmoil as well. And I'll see. I decided to make the film Dream On to reflect what was going on in my life. Mm -hmm. And it turned a couple of heads, you know, it created an impact in the local film industry. Mm -hmm. And Barbara Blake kind of saw it and decided to incorporate it in the Reggae Film Festival and from then it went on to Reading Magazine that's a compilation out of Germany mm -hmm. you know and, and it got a lot of recognition from there. Nice, nice, fantastic and yeah. of course you know you've gone on to do more work since then. Yeah. Now you say you've done animated series, you've, I know of two, the mm -hmm. logo designer which actually got some recognition as well, you got what? Yes. Um, the most potential award for the Anime Carib last year. Yeah, for Anime Carib. Exactly. Uh -huh. And um, you're currently working on Team X. That's a series. Yeah, that's... that's Tell us a little bit series. about Team X. Well, Team X is an action cartoon series. Trisha, mm -hmm. the producer, would tell me that, you know, look, it's an anime because it's not just for kids. You know, when you say cartoon, you think it's for kids. Yeah. So it's an anime that has to do with like local security forces not being able to manage threats mm -hmm. so there's this private team instituted to handle threats of that great magnitude it's like a dream you know to say yeah. if we could just incorporate more technological strategies and you know use the advancements that we have had mm -hmm. to fight crime probably would get a little further Okay, so it's a bit imaginative. I like it. Yeah. I think I think it would actually grab someone's attention. Yeah. So how did you get involved in animation in the first place? Well, animation came out of the desire to tell stories. Mm -hmm. I wanted to tell stories. I wanted to do things, but not having the resources around me, mm -hmm. you know, like the camera and the people, etc. So we decided to try animation. And being an IT student myself, it wasn't that hard. Yeah. You know. Now, you, s you actually started your exposure to video editing mm -hmm. and um, producing during your years at UTEC. And you mm -hmm. started at a local cable company. Tell us about that experience, you know, being so young, getting that exposure. <laughs> well, I was interested as well because how it started, it was a friend of mine who was an artist that's Exile the Brave. He is, he's a reggae artist. And he shot some clips and said, Stephen, I needed to edit this for me because I was doing some remix music videos at the time, just some fooling around. Yes. And there was a problem with the footage. So I said, let me try and shoot something. I, I didn't know what to do, but I know something was wrong. Yeah. So we tried and we shot over something and it came out well. So that's how we started editing. Mm -hmm. And I showed the boss at the local TV st cable station at the time some works I did. He wasn't particularly impressed, but he gave me some <laughs> He did give you advice all the same. Yeah. And I just kept going there. I'd go there and go there until it was good enough to work there. Yeah, so what are some of the projects you worked on in terms of video editing and producing? Well, I worked on the look, some, st some shows they had there mm -hmm. in terms of animation and visual effects. Yeah. Yeah, and edited some segments of the programs. Mm -hmm. You've actually worked with um, 
America's Next Top Model, is that it? Yeah, I worked on the set of American Next Top Model yeah. as a production assistant early on last year. You know, it was particularly interesting. How so? So tell us a bit about that experience. Well, I, it was my first job really on this major film set. I'd imagine so. And the speed at which things happened was ridiculous. It yeah. was it was like you entered a different dimension yeah. really. You kept on moving fast. But were you able to apply the theory that you've learned, um, the background that you have in the business, were you able to use that to propel you forward? Well, I learned time time management <laughs> important <laughs> <Definitely. time. laughs> that's, that's the most important thing I learned that it, it, it developed me greatly mm -hmm. as an individual the importance of time and being proactive mm -hmm. and just doing your work finding out what you need to do and get it done you know I learned a lot about organization mm -hmm. and how important planning is to getting anything done because we had the approach of us you know getting up and shooting something now is we do a whole heap of planning before because it actually makes shooting a lot easier yeah i'm pretty yeah. sure because yeah. you know last minute ideas it just throws everything off exactly i'd exactly. imagine and yeah. tell us some about your greatest challenges so far well the greatest challenge is that of any young entrepreneur is the financial stability mm -hmm. you know knowing that it's not a 9 to 5. This month, you'll make more than what you'd make working your 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. This month, you'll make less. Sometimes none, but you, that's where the saving becomes important. Yeah. And as you develop, you find that to be less of a problem. But when you're young, as an entrepreneur, you have to accept that. Do you also find that because you're so young in the business, mm -hmm. that um, persons who came before you tend mm -hmm. to you know, just kind of push you back, like, you know, what are you doing here? Well, there's always a little bit of doubt when you're young, you know, mm -hmm. but your works always prove otherwise. So I think what they, they, they can deny your age, but not really your work. So I guess it's improving to the point where they're saying, you know, this guy looks like him doing something. Right. Okay, we have sense. <laughs> yeah, have sense. You know. Okay, so apart from being the man behind the camera, which you usually are at all times, I'm sure you don't <laughs> do interviews too, too often. No, no. But apart from being the man behind the camera, who is Stephen Williamson? Well, Stephen Williamson is someone deeply inspired by, you know, his dream and wanting to show others their mm -hmm. potential. So I, I always try to motivate people, mm -hmm. you know, even in the banner church that uh, participate in, mm -hmm. I'm the band leader there. And I, I, my main focus is always, you know, motivate people, show them how much they can do and be of themselves. Because, you know, when we're young, we tend to have a dream, but you know, as we grow older, people tell us that we can't do it, and they tell yeah. us of all the things we can't do. Mm -hmm. So we, we develop fear, and somewhere, we are, somewhere along the way, we, um, we abandon our dreams. So yes. I try to tell people, you know, do what you love, do what you love. Yeah. So who or what motivates you? All right, I was, I was motivated by a church, the church mother of mine, who's mm -hmm. called her my grandmother, Sister Drummond. Okay. She would, tell me a, a poem, you know, she would say, look, Stephen, listen to this poem. I didn't understand it at the time, but it became very important to me. Yeah. Look, she would say, someone said it couldn't be done, but he with a chuckle replied that maybe it couldn't, but he went on anyway. Mm -hmm. And he started a thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. And there are thousands of people to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophesy failure, and the amount of troubles that will assail you. But just chuckle, take off your coat and go with a grin and do that thing that couldn't be done and you will do it. And that's, that's what I, I walk with, you know. Yeah, it's, very, say, good, it's, it's very good advice. It's you very know. good advice. Now, is there anything, apart from what you just said, is there anything you could say to other youth who find themselves on a path similar to your own? Well, what I do is echo the words of a, a, a storyteller, a friend of mine, Michael mm -hmm. Cairns from Scotland. And what he said was, look, if you think you can do it, you're probably right. If you think you can't do it, you're probably right. <laughs> you know, whichever yeah. way is what you believe. So yes. hold on to your belief and have faith. You know, that's yeah. what I would tell anyone. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I, I felt moved by that. Thank <laughs> you so much for joining me this morning, Stephen. Right, no Thank problem. you for starting All my right. day. <laughs> and I hope to see more of you. You know, hope to hear more about you All right, in thanks. your work of coming <laughs> filmmaking 
I like to see it. I'd, I'd really like to see it. All right, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And thank you, viewers, for watching. My guest on the road to, suc on the road to success this morning has been 23-year-old animator, video producer, and budding filmmaker Stephen Williamson. If you or someone you know is on the road to success, email us at onthroadsuccess.cas at gmail.com. That is onthroadsuccess.cas at gmail.com. Or follow us on Twitter at ORS underscore CVM Sunrise. That is ORS underscore CVM Sunrise. I'm Anita Costa. Stay with us. CVM Sunrise will be right back.